Hello, welcome everyone. So we have an issue here, okay? We have an issue where we are designing a website and the font exactly is showing perfectly as we set the font. By the way, you can find that in the style panel. Typography, you see we use the font Oswald in case you're asking for what font this is. It's a very beautiful tall font. So we have this font in the back end, but when you go over to the front end, it shows you totally different things. Can you clear your catch in your browser? You clear your catch in your back end, you clear your catch in your host, and still the same thing keep happening. Still don't display the main font in the front end. It displays this in the in the designer, but don't display the main font that shows up in the designer for the front end. How do you solve this problem? It's very simple and straightforward. What you need to do is to head over to Elementor itself, uh, your dashboard, hover on Elementor, click on settings, and on the settings, you are gonna click on features over here. Let me zoom closely so you can see. Over here, right? Fine. Now click on features and on the features, scroll down till you find this option that says load Google font locally. Now I'm going to talk about this a little bit before we proceed. So you don't rush in, do it and then continue. We are going to bring a feature tutorial on this. That's what we call GDPR. Okay. You can make research on that GDPR compliance. Okay. Now I don't want to go more deep into that, but let me explain what actually is going on. You see, we have a, we have locations call that are under what we call a uh, 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 European Union okay so the European Union countries uh, they have a law that stipulates that users that actually integrate Google font in the website directly that loads it directly online may be doing an illegal activity so people doing this with their website actually doing it illegally so when you use a font even though you find it in elementor you select the font and you start building for instance what we have here you select the font it is not like we downloaded a cracked font or a paid font that we get for free and we try to use it on our website i'm telling you the font that is already loaded in your elementor now they say that it is illegal for you to do so which means if you want to use the font now you need to load the font locally Loading the font locally means the font will download and save locally in your database. Then the font will populate directly in the Elementor. You still find the font, but just that it doesn't pull this font directly from uh, uh, Google database. You get the point because when it pulls this font from Google database, the European Union, based off on the GDPR compliant, they say that this detail, this font that you are pulling, is actually sending the user data, users data, which means. Google, uh, Google themselves are picking the user data of people who visit the website through the font you load from their platform. So they wanted to make it easier. So when you load it locally, Google don't have access to those fonts anymore. Remember, Google fonts are free, but they are free for a reason. You understand? So we make this video, we are going to make a, a more detailed video about the GDPR compliance for European Union countries and all of that. It's actually affects anywhere. If you actually found one thing, you are actually going to go to you're going to have a little serious uh, issue which you don't need to get into with your clients usually the bill is around 100 euros or 100 dollars i don't know something within that it's not much of a money but the stress of going to court and all of that doesn't make any sense so to save your clients all of this in the beginning of your project switch this to what load google font locally switch it to active when you are beginning your website but if you realize if you are finished building your website you switch this to active you might have the issue that we are talking about now that's why we are having this issue right now this website wasn't the first time i'm not the first person who is building this this is what i just continued from the website the client was making so that's why the issue happens but if you are building a fresh website you install a fresh wordpress come in here and deactivate this load google activate this make it active local locally anyway google uh, elementor makes this automatic the autom automatically activates this from their 3.4.5 version they automatically activate the local loading of google fonts automatically so you can go back here and deactivate it now since we have this problem the only thing we can do since this website have been loaded on online google database it can't be switched to local anymore because it have been already loaded by what online unless we clear the catch in the client uh, hosting platform or deactivate that catch and then load this if you deactivate the catch anyway you come back here you put it in go load google font locally you put it in active save it come back here and select it and put it in 
uh, uh, sorry, put it in inactive, save it, come back here, put it in active, and then save it. It will now uh, populate the fonts and load it in your database. I will come to that tutorial. I will make a detailed tutorial and I will explain everything that is going on and everything you need to know. But for now, let's solve the problem we have at hand. I just needed to educate you on what's actually happening. Okay? So we want to make this font show up in the front end. What we do is very simple. Go into your WordPress, over on Elementor, click on Settings, click on Features, scroll down until you find that feature that says what? Load Google Font locally. You understand why we are doing this now. You understand the inactive and the active option. Now, we are loading it locally no we are not looking we are now leaving it to the one it was when the client first built the website which is active so loading it from the google database so we keep it on inactive and we save the work okay now keep it inactive you don't need to do anything from your front end builder just go to your database if you have any catching tool you can clear your catch then refresh the page you see that the font we actually use there will automatically apply so you see nothing happens Let's see if we actually have our caching tool enabled. Okay, when you are done with that, you need to save it first. Okay, once you're done, save it. Make sure you save it. You come over here. I didn't save it, that's why. Come over here, refresh, and everything is okay. Wow, we still have the same issue. Let's go back. So let's try that again. Google font locally. Let's put it in inactive, and we save it. It's inactive, we are supposed to put it in, not active. I'm very sorry about that, guys. Okay? We are supposed to put it in inactive, not active. Because inactive means we don't want it to lo load locally. We want it to load directly from Google Database because that is what the clients have already loaded this website with. But for your new website, leave it as this. You don't need to do anything. Leave it as this and continue your work. It's supposed to be on active, on your what? When you are actually building from a fresh website. Okay? So... Uh, where is it and again? Let's go back there and confirm that it's in inactive. Load Google Font inactive. Fine. Then we click on save. This solves the problem. Go to your front end and refresh. And you see that we have the font present. Perfect. You see? So it applies to the rest of the website page. I like to make mistakes. I don't like to cut in, cut in my video. Some of you know. From the beginning of my video to the end, I don't like cutting anything. I like you to see the mistakes in case you fall into issues like that. You know how to solve it. So we have all font now populating according to what font we actually designate for it to populate. You get the point. So this is simply how to solve the problem. It's not about clearing your catch. But whenever you're done with that, if you have any catching system, clear it off. And if you have this tool over here, you can also use it to clear off the catch. Very beautiful tool. It makes sense. It makes it easy for you to clear your Google or Chrome browser catch without you getting to the settings. And if you want to learn how to do this, I had a tutorial on the YouTube channel. You can search for that and figure it out how to install this tool. The name is Cleaner History and Catch Cleaner. It is a, an extension in Google Chrome. I hope that will help. So, this guys, this is how to actually solve this issue. In case you face it in the future, in Elementor, this is exactly how to solve it. Do have a wonderful day. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, do so right now. If you don't want to miss up on the future uh, lessons, turn on the notification bell so you can be alerted. Also, remember to share to your friends. When you share to people, people come in and they watch, I feel very appeased. And I feel very what, happy that I'm making content for people to watch. And by the way, this is for educational purposes. I hope this helps. This is not the right way to do it. We are only doing this for us to solve this problem specifically. But I told you guys, in your fresh installation, you don't need to do anything. In case you just wanted to go back there, check it out. You can check it out. You see that it should be automatically on active because you need to load it locally. Since Elementor enables that to be automatically activated, that's GDPR compliance rule, and that's from the European Union. Can, European Union. You can go read that up so you get more information before we come to that lesson in the future. Do have a wonderful day.